at the stage. Oh, there we go. Ta-da. Okay. Oh. 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 Oh Hi. Hi. How You're are you? closer now. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, my. Holy cow, we got lots of hellos. Can y'all hear us? There okay. is. We have JR. JR, your number one. Steve's number Woodworking. One in nice our book. JR. Trisha Wymore. Hey, hey, Trisha. Dang, <laughs> I'm number three. That's all right. That's large. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. We got that means you have to cook supper tonight, Russell. Yeah. Evening all from the extremely wet and dreary Oregon coast. Oh, you. I don't envy you for that one at all. Hold on. I gotta. What? I gotta. You gotta do a thing. I gotta do a thing. I gotta do a thing too. Then let me do this thing quick. Sorry. There we go. There we go. Okay. okay. Oh, it's standing. Ta da! And JR saying hello to Russell. Lots of hellos. Holy Back cow. And forth. Shilin is here. EG wife is here. Awesome. Good to have you in here. Lots more hellos. Tony Mitchell. Good to have you in here. Oh, EG wife's trying to go Australian on us. Oh, wow. Look at hello, that. Mate. Hello. <laughs> Good day, mate. Oh, we are not still in makeup, Steve. Thank you, though. Oh, what? Hey, you missed one up there. Are they so? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, our, our makeup bus just left. Right. So they did all of this. And they made him beautiful. Right, right. AFJ the third is here. Just made it by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Nice. You're going to huff and puff and blow a house down? I hope not. Some guy named Rob sent me. Do I get a discount? <laughs> you get the same discount <laughs> as I give everyone. Yeah. 100% free right. to be here right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's your discount. Ashley Anderson, good to have you in here. And uh, how many days till he gets here? Because I, I don't know. What's the countdown, Ashley? How many days? Madananda, hello, party Hi. people. Good to have you in here. She's sporting the hat right now. Steve and Susie's home. Spamming <laughs> the chat. <laughs> oh, I love it, Steve. That's beautiful. 1968 sourdough. Cool. I had to come here. Curmudge Ian kicked me out. Yeah, he's that way. I don't and know what the deal is. He's a meanie. Is. Yeah. Troy Sutton. Oh, Lord. Here we are again. Yay. Yay. Good to have you in here, Troy. Brooke Trout one. You bet. Thank you, Brooke Trout. Rebecca Touched by Yarn. Hey, nice to see you in here. JR, yep, five by five. Perfect. Thank you. What? He hears us loud and clear. Five by five. Okay. All Abilities Homestead. I'm here. Good to have you in here. Good to have you here. So I think this is the first time. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't yeah. recall the name, but it's awesome to have you in here. Thanks for joining us. Heck Oopsies. Yeah. Whoa. Phyllis Hi. is getting crazy. Robert Bartman. Hey, good to have you in here. Trust you and Enjoying your trip to Alaska. Uh, they might <clears throat> or, be are you home? Because we I can't remember. Saw I'm your post out. yesterday about going up Hatchers. So we took a ride up as far as we could go, trying to see if we had cell phone um, signal at all up there, and we had zero. We were hoping to do next Sunday's live, if you don't know, with Miss Alone and uh, Rob and Sarah over at Kermajin. We were hoping to do it from a mountaintop. But we had no cell reception. No. So, sorry. It'll just be regular us. Hopefully, it'll be outside. True. Yeah. Hey, Paul Davis. Good to have you in here. Mm. <clears throat> huh. Okay. That was oh, weird. There we go. Railroad Mike Salasa. Hello, curmudgeon sent me over. Do I get a coupon at the Willow Rose? Oh, wow. <laughs> I, yeah, the first five days of the month, you get 50% 50 off. off coupon. Yeah, so that, that's a win. Matt's Garage, hello all. Good to have you in here. And there is a lone <laughs> in remote Alaska <laughs> making keep... an appearance. Awesome. Oh, and we, I had a long talk with Phyllis. We had some issues on the last live. She got a little bit out of control with her laughing, <laughs> and it was keeping people from sleeping. <laughs> Um, I'm talking about number 38, Miss Monica Lynn. So uh, 
Yeah. We're, we're going to try to tone it down a little bit this time. We are? Yeah. See, there's look number one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gary, how are you? Enigmatic Gwitchin, good to see you. <clears throat> Kim, hello, how are you? RM, howdy, Rob and Sarah sent me here. Well, well thanks good to for have joining. you in here. That's awesome. Oh, hey. Hello, Aiken. <laughs> I can pronounce Aiken. Yeah. Key Aiken. Thanks for joining us. Yes, thank you very much. Awesome. Robert Bartman, hey, Mitchell's good to see oh, you. He's already. Countdown for the look. Yep. Oh, no, you already got one. We're just a little behind. Lots of hellos in here. <laughs> Alaska cut the cord. You're getting much taller than your hair. <laughs> yeah, I had a joke about that before. I'm kind of like a chia pet. I don't actually cut this. I just pull on this and it pulls it back down and makes the beard longer. And then eventually I just trim this. Right. Yeah, right. That's how it works. Just like hey, that. Ready? Yeah. Jenny Yay! Parr. Everybody, welcome Jenny Parr. And, and Mr. Ray Parr, the retired police officer from Wisconsin. Yes. Good to have you in here, bud. And uh, Hello. Oh, some hellos. Flagstaff, Alaska. Hey, everyone. Hey, good to have you in here. Awesome, awesome. And, and there's Rob. There's Rob Major. And probably Sarah. And probably Sarah, yeah. We definitely can't count her out. Um, Ashley Anderson, April 4th, whatever day that is. Day is not math guy or grammar or spelling. Pretty much anything <laughs> related to school. <laughs> nice. I love it, Ashley. That is a perfect explanation. RM, hi alone. You were the first to start me on these lovely social gatherings. Okay. And they are. They really, they kind of make our week. I mean, come yeah. Sunday, we're looking forward to Monday. And then I can't wait to get out of work to get over here and do this. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah, I love it. Russell RW, I was in fact making dinner as Phyllis mentioned. <laughs> Good for you. Nice. Deja vu and some extra good people. Oh, <laughs> nice. yeah. Yeah, we try to be pretty decent. <clears throat> I'm assuming yeah, it, we're back. Yeah, I think we're back. It froze on our end, too, which is weird. I've never seen that happen before. I wonder if it had something to do with Sydney. Shouldn't have. Uh, never know. Because he fired up his. And anyway. there's Kermudgeon's link. Thank you for that, Ashley. All abilities, not new, just don't say much. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Well, apologize for that. Well, be sure to chime in. Oh, we and, have or if you have questions. No, no, alone. It was it was us too. And there's a lone remote Alaska's link. <laughs> yeah, all right, Rob. Kim is saying only 121 days till Matt's garage and I are in Willow. Woohoo! Woo Oh, man, I can't math. I need the date for that then. Well, I don't know. Four months from now. Thanks. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you. I math it for you. <laughs> uh, no, not yet, Brooke Trout. Uh, we were thinking about going next weekend, but I don't know. We may. We may go Saturday night yet. We did do some scouting. Yeah, we did some scouting, kind of seeing if we had cell phone signal. But uh, I'm hoping here next weekend that we'll do that Saturday and get back down here in time for the live. <clears throat> and there is Enigmatic Gwitchin's live. Don't forget er, Shailene's live link. Er, Don't forget Shailene's link to. Heck yeah. David, how are you? Good to see you in here. Lots of hellos. Robert Bartman, we're still here. Just got checked in with the airlines leaving at 12.30 a.m. Oh. tonight. 134 miles to the airport. Flight leaves at 6 a.m. Oh. oh, my goodness. Well, yeah. I hope you enjoyed your trip up here. It was it was great meeting you, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. And I'm sure Rob would say the same. Oh, well, I think Rob did say the same. He did. He did. Mm -hmm. He said it out loud, he too. He did? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're going to get the look. <laughs> Nope. So just tell us if we got to tone her down a little bit. Kind of crazy. <laughs> Leslie Wood, hello. 60 degrees in Minnesota today. Wow. Oh, oh my. Did yeah. you guys even see winter or was it just an extended fall this year? Well, I think they had a day. A day? A day. Yeah. 
Wow, that's not great. Oh. Matt Skiraz, Ch -ch <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> High life on the High Line. Look at you popping in for a sec, heading out to a marine base to check out the beaches and look for some cheap souvenirs. Awesome. Good to nice. see you in here. I hope you're having fun. <clears throat> Heck yeah. All abilities still can't sit I still. Can't. So usually, no, I can't sit still. So you're usually watching on the big TV while working on another project. Oh. So I totally understand. Yep. Yep. I'm not much different. Rob is saying at Ashley Anderson, give me a call tomorrow. Nice. Some hellos. Alone is saying, glad you're part of the party at mm -hmm. RM. Heck yeah, so are we. Oh. Railroad Mike, Adam, I need to get one of those Viva heaters. How long does a tank last? If it's set on a medium heat, it should last two evenings if, if you're just using it to sleep. Um, if it's on high, obviously it's going to use a little more. If it's on low, it's going to last even longer. But I would say two evenings to be <clears throat> on, on average. Uh, the only issue that I have right now is we did our video and we did the test on that. But the problem that I have is the thermostat is built into the heater. Well, the heater's on the ground, eight, 10 feet away from the source that it's heating. And it's going to run full blast all night, and that gets to be a bit much. So I'm trying to, I'm, I have a plan for a remote thermostat. Okay. Zero inches on the Oahu Snow Pole <laughs> Challenge. Yes, <laughs> thank you for that. Great to see you in here, though, Amy. Oh, I know, Matt. Can you believe it? Only 18 likes. Now we're up to 24. Oh, okay. Okay. I've noticed though when I am watching someone's live, it 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 doesn't seem like the likes are always caught up. I'm not sure why. Yeah. Um it's it's a little bit strange that way. Our simple oh, oh. our simple life. Hello all. Hello, David. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We I, do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we do. And there's a hello to our simple life. Monica Lynn, number 38. How are you? Good to see you in here. Speaking of number 38, we have a plan. Oh, yeah. We have a plan for you, Monica. We saw well, number no, 38. It's for Ashley, but... Well, Monica... kind of for Ashley and Monica. Yeah. We'll share. You guys have to share. Yep. Yeah, we'll share it first. JR, I heard people say you don't need coffee to wake up you also don't need a parachute to skydive but it helps <laughs> right. yeah well and i'm also on the same train of thought where a gun and a parachute have two things or have the same thing in common if you need them and don't have them you're likely to never need one again yeah very true and around, around the meetup hmm i don't know did what he that forget means. the first half of his i don't know maybe Railroad Mike, be sure to give a thumbs up, folks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ashley, a glitch in space-time <laughs> continuum. I, I think our flux capacitor had a had a little overload there for a second. It's July 11th. Did oh, you did, do that? Oh, no, because it's the up in the... You say that it, every time, but it only ever does it once. I don't know. That's weird. July 11th. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Some hellos, hellos. Lots of hellos, P and J's. Woo -hoo. Hi, Adam and Phyllis. Sorry, we're late. Not oh, a problem. And to answer your question, P and J's, and no, we cannot do it live from our first camping spot. There is zero cell reception there. So sorry about that. Maybe we'll do a premiere. Maybe we'll use that for a premiere. So it's like a live, even though it isn't. Oh. That would be kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see what we can do. Yeah. Madunanda, on March 17th, I need to flip a coin to see which team I will join for live <laughs> chat since all are my favorite. Well, we're going to be... Well, if you have three different devices, you can log in to each <laughs> right. one. Um, I don't know. How are we doing that? I thought we were logging into a loans live. <clears throat> And I not don't doing know. it separately. That's all between you and me. I'll talk to Rob after this. I think we have a plan. We might run it all through one. I know it doesn't help our channel as much um, as as it could, but I don't want to make it complicated for people either because if you're signed in on ours, you may not see all the comments. So right. 
you know, Lone's channel is quite a bit bigger than ours, so I think we'll probably just sign it into hers. Try to make it easy for you. There's EG Wife. EG Wife. Link. There is your link, lady. Nat's yeah, Garage, JR. It's either drink coffee or carry a bat and hope for judicial <laughs> lenience. Right. <laughs> JR, if at first you don't succeed, flying may not be for you. <laughs> and you won't have a chance to try again. Robert Bartman, simply marvelous. That is awesome. I'm glad you came up here. That's great. JR, yep, July 10th. That's exactly how it works. That doesn't even make sense. How it's it, okay. It's fine. Good job, you guys. Yeah, we totally understand. Yeah, you guys One reverse stars. look negates the Phyllis look. Hey, we're <laughs> down to zero. Okay. Zero for the night yeah. so far. We're winning. Robert Bartman, no winter in Eagle River. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah. Man. There's Matt's Garage's link. Definitely check him out. Does some pretty cool stuff on there. And curmudge in C2 negative, make a positive. I know. Look how positive we are tonight. Right. Compared to usual. What? P no, what? No. PJ's homestead. Phyllis and Adam, guess what? Get ready to wiggle. We hit 504 today. Woo! Thank you for your support. We're on our second beer. Cheers. <laughs> Outstanding. That's great. And, good and job. That, that's a good reminder. If you guys haven't checked out PJ's homestead adventure, I would definitely mm -hmm. suggest you that you check them out. Um, they're a great up and coming channel and we support the crap out of them because that's what alone and other channels have done for us. And we are paying it forward here to some other smaller channels saying, I hope you grow and surpass us. That would be awesome. 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 Rob is saying, Ooh, it'll last cut the cord. Matt AK will not be in. He's at dinner with his parents. He still has a cell phone. There's no reason why. I mean, last week it was because he fell asleep, and now he doesn't know how to use a phone. What Adam. Oh, okay. Sorry. Just put it in your pocket with the volume off. You're there good. you go. JR, my snow pole indication is at zero inches. What do I win? Well, you'll have to fight over a high five with all the other zero <laughs> inches. <laughs> yeah, you and Clint can fight over the high five yeah. for that one. And Jen and Ray. How well, did that go? Wasn't that on Deadpool? Would you accept a crisp high five? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> One of my I favorite movies of all time is Deadpool. And I'm not apologetic about that. No. And Ashley Anderson, that looks like an interesting channel to check out. I would definitely go and check yes. that one out. Yep. That one is going to take off here in about 900 days. Wow. Okay. 900 uh, days. He said that's what his retirement. That's when he's coming up here. No, his retirement is 900 oh, days. Gotcha, gotcha. Robert Bartman, no maple syrup for next year. Warm weather warm weather started the sap running too soon for us to get back in time to tap the trees. Oh, oh darn no. it. <clears throat> I miss doing that. It was it was one of those things that you would do in the spring because it wasn't cold enough to be ice fishing or anything like that, but it wasn't warm enough to be doing anything in the yard because everything was mud. So you just make maple syrup. It, it was it was fun. I enjoyed it until the second year was over and we had 75 quarts yeah. of maple syrup. <laughs> I'm like, that's more than I can ever possibly use. So yeah, we left a lot with Jen oh, yeah. when we moved up here. Yeah, I think and she, we actually brought some. Up we here. brought a little bit, but I think she might have used it all up. And we used up all of our canned venison. She used up the rest of our canned tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. And they're out. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Lots of hellos in here. We're trying to kind of stay with the game plan a little bit. So if I skip your hello, it's not because I didn't see it. I'm just trying to keep up. Okay. Ashley is sharing some information. Thank you for that. <laughs> Monica Lynn. Oh, shoot. What's the plan, Stan? I'm... I'm... Well, here's the finish. I'm in trouble now. No, you're not in trouble. No, not at all. <clears throat> Steve and Susie's homestead. About that CO detector, <laughs> you should get one. Camping <laughs> plus beer plus a jar of pickled eggs. Phyllis will need it. I, You know, you didn't mention that in the comment on the video, and I had never thought about that part. So all four walls of that tent Have open a screen. up. So, yeah. yeah. She believes she's safe. 
but that doesn't help when you're in I a sleeping I will sleep bag. outside, too. No? No, you can't. Well, I can. I need you for warmth. No, you're fine. You got the heater. <laughs> you're the heater. And your pickled eggs. I I do love pickled eggs. Yes. Not not as much as I like smoked salmon, though. <clears throat> okay. Sorry. We drifted off <laughs> there for a second. <laughs> Pretty sure I will end up in a corner. No, no, there's no corners in this outhouse. I mean, technically. Technically, there are. Yeah. We live in a round one. <laughs> P&J's Homestead. Okay, a premiere. That's a great idea. I, I think it would we be. Could. We haven't done it before. We want to do a live from up there. We can't do a live from up there. So. Uh, yeah, a premiere might, premiere yep. might work. Yeah, it might be kind of cool. I think we'll do that. I think we'll do that. Rob is saying, going to start dinner is I need food. I'll be in and out. No problem, Rob. Oh, was he hangry? Do you have us on the big TV, Rob? <clears throat> Steve and Susan Homestead, what are we having? <clears throat> Thank okay. you, Ashley. I hope you're a lot more comfortable now. <clears throat> yes. <than> you can... <laughs> Hopefully everything came out all right. <laughs> and there is Monica Lynn's link. Thank you for that, Ashley. JR, today is the 71st day plus 121, 192nd day, and that day is July 10th. Clear as mud. It's perfectly clear to me. Is it a a, um, a military something? Or... No. How do you know what day of the year it is? How many days in? You can just oh. look on the calendar. Yeah, but then you have to count. Why? I, I, do, the, I do the math here. It really does. Yeah. PNJs, thank you so much for your kind words. Not a problem. You deserve every bit of it. Yes. And there is PNJ's link. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Back to zero didn't last long. I know. I'm sure she'll learn one here. I might. Well, you yeah. did just give me one about the mathing thing. So yeah, that's true. Yeah. That was <laughs> wow. That was a look with eyelash flutter. Double <laughs> points. Don't start her laughing. We talked about this yeah. now. Ashley Anderson, eyelashes get me every time. Oh, oh my. Look at Monica's thing there. Oh, Matt, well, who are you kidding? There's a game plan? Oh, there's always a game plan. Oh. <laughs> yeah. There is always a game plan here. Matt Scratch. Yeah, we try to. <clears throat> uh oh, zero zero lures tonight. What's the world coming to? I know. I was oh, it was about goodness. two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm like, oh, I don't have any earrings. Hmm. She's got some special ones planned for Sunday. If you don't tune in, that's a reason enough right there to tune in. <laughs> I would agree <clears throat> with myself. <laughs> you usually do, don't you? Robert Bartman, thumbs up. Adam, where did you store all the sap until you started to boil down? I started to boil down right away. Um, the early sap, obviously, is the most sugar rich. And it would always be cold enough, and we would always have three, four feet of snow. So I had these special five-gallon pails with the screw-on lid and the seal. So I would dig out kind of a little fridge in the snow, and I would put all the buckets in the snow. And we would boil down 24-7. It was pretty awesome. JR, my aunts used to give me that look <clears throat> and use my full name. That's when I needed to run out the door before they grabbed up the riding crop. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, here we go. Brooke Trout, good evening, number 38. Boy, that has really stuck with it you, Monica. Stuck. I like that. Kim is saying, found a new pickled egg recipe. I need to try cowboy candy pickled eggs. Wow, you're going to need my address for that one, Kim. <laughs> that sounds delicious. Julian date code. Oh, that's a 3M thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> Steve is saying pass. Robert Bartman, Rob and Sarah finished my last spoonful of cowboy caviar. Oh. I'm not sure what that is. Salmon eggs, probably. Right, Ashley? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you're saying, Ashley. <clears throat> I do. Mm -hmm. See, at least somebody, me and somebody understand each other because right, I right. don't understand well, you. Well, I can do the math for both of you when I Ashley should. comes up. Oh, good deal. <clears throat> Rob is saying at AK Dog Mom 3, ooh, I need more on that one. Yeah, that sounds absolutely delicious. Delicious. Steve at Susie's Homestead, I will stick to backed beaver. Backed beaver? Hmm. Baked beaver? I don't know. Uh, backed sounds 
different. Yeah. Ra- Rob is saying at Robert Bartman, I ate a bunch of my batch last night. Cool. Matter Nanda, I'm cooking rice pilaf while watching oh, the chat. Oh, that sounds delicious. That sounds amazing. I ate a gas station pizza. So I had a snack bar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My sons and daughter in law. Well, first take- off, wow. welcome to the chat, PTL Fabrication. Absolutely. Welcome to the chat. Sorry I blew up there. Yeah, you kind of got ahead of I, I just all totally of got us. out of control. Like totally again. out of control. You're fine. <laughs> Okay, ready? Oh, I can talk now. Okay. Oh, sorry. don't even start. Oh, do I got to raise my hand? Um, my <laughs> yes. s- my sons and daughter in law take our Jeeps and a Willie's wagon to Jeep Bantam Fest. We're building two military trailers for camping. Both will have diesel heaters. Nice. Awesome. Are you, <clears throat> what was it, the M715 trailer? I had one of those and that was an awesome trailer. It had surge brakes, it was a dump bed. It was really cool. Yeah, I love it. That sounds like a lot of fun. <clears throat> Cooper. Cooper's like, huh? That sounds awesome. Rob is saying at PTL Fabrication, I learned to drive a stick in an old Willys panel Jeep with the heel toe start button. I love that thing. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds that sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. <clears throat> Ashley Anderson is sharing PTL Fabrication's link. Thank you for that, sir. Russell R W. Hey everyone, can you do me a favor? And wish my wife, Trisha Wymore, a happy birthday. She's turning half a century on Thursday. Well, happy birthday. If I could sing or had a bucket to carry a tune in, (laughs) I would give it to you. But I wish you a very happy birthday, Trisha. That is outstanding. How long have you guys been married? Robert Bartman, I did the same thing with 50 gallons of sap. Yep. It, it works good. You just got to keep it below a certain temperature. You can see it turn. Okay, lots of happy birthdays to Trish. Jeez, oh, pizza baked. Okay, oh. okay. Yeah. Jeez, oh, pizza. <laughs> I've never heard that before. <laughs> and Kim is saying at Kermudge in and Adam, I'll let you know how it goes, but it's basically the pickled eggs in the cowboy candy syrup. Hmm. Wow, that sounds delicious. We have greetings. Oops, why why did I do that? Robert is saying hello to PTL Fabrication. <clears throat> Kim, it sounds good. Def, let us know. Yeah. Monica Lynn, a.k.a. number 38. So, my daughter's getting married, y'all. I feel old. <clears throat> no? Well, our son just turned 21. Yeah. You are getting old. <clears throat> hmm. There you go for a good look. <laughs> you know, sometimes we'll have to switch sides so you can really see the other side of her face. <laughs> you only get to see the front and her left side. And yeah, if we just switch spots, we'd be good. Matt's Garage, I married well. Nice. Well, that's good. Um... Some hellos, which is awesome. Congrats, Monica. There's PJ's homestead link. Oh, shoulder still hurts. We have a lot of greetings and happy birthdays and congratulations. Holy Thank cow, yous. lots of happiness. If uh, any of you guys are fans of uh, Southern Roots Alaska Branches, him and his wife just had an anniversary here recently. So I, I see he's not on here, but I'm going to go ahead and wish him a happy anniversary live from Willow, Alaska. How many years were they married? I don't know. He didn't say. All of them? If I asked him, he'd probably say 75. I don't know. Well, yeah, they're not as old as we are. So yeah, he so can't be at 175 no, like we No, no, no. Okay. <sighs> and there's Railroad Mike Alaska's link. Thank you, Ashley. <clears throat> Paul Davis, I had a 50s Willie panel van and a 51 Jeep. Panel van was my hunting rig. Slept and camped out. Nice. That sounds <coughs> awesome. God, I have a frog in my throat tonight. The look. Yes. <clears throat> Russell R.W. Adam, we've been married since 2002. It'll be 22 in December. Nice, nice. Robert Bartman, wait until the grandkids come. <laughs> I heard that's right. the best part of a parent's life. Um, you get all the best parts of your kids, but you get to send them home afterwards. 
Right. So Alona San, hello at PJ's Homestead Adventure and everyone. And good to see you in here. Matt's Garage. I <laughs> felt that look all the way over here in PA. <clears throat> it happens. JR, I have a granddaughter that turns 24 in two weeks. Talk about old. Oh. She's not that old, JR. <laughs> Monica Lynn, I'm already a grandma, a.k.a. she calls me honey. Uh -huh. Nice. <clears throat> Ashley, 24, 22, 19, and 16. Yes, I'm old. Oh. Yeah. No. 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 Well, life is just getting started for some people. Yeah. That's why, you know, whenever we talk about Alaska, we're like, man, don't delay. Get here as quick as you can. <clears throat> Oh, Matt's I garage. Think Thanks, Monica. We oh, we're also married 30 years this June. Nice. Missed one. Adam, you don't get to see the look when she looks straight at the camera. Sorry, it didn't didn't mean to out you, Phyllis. <laughs> Shh. Don't believe me, I can feel it. <laughs> Ira Handworker, a little late, but best wishes to Adam and Phyllis and all our friends from Lorraine and I. Well, thanks for joining us. <clears throat> Hope your mom is well and everybody else is as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's this eye roll thing that she does. She may. She's got some, what do they call that? Nonverbal communication. Yeah. Yeah, she's high on that. I, I can't not communicate through my face. No, she can completely lose her voice and I'd still understand her clearly. <laughs> Busy cleaning and listening. I kind of figured you were working on a project of some sort. Nice, nice. Russell RW, we had wanted to get our finances in order and move to AK last year when we were both 49. Get it, 49 mm. to the 49th state. But alas, things got a bit delayed. Oh, we know how that feels. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're all, we totally understand that. We got delayed for years. PTL fabrication at Kermudge Inn. My Willie's is my daughter in law's. Matt, 1791, June at Cooper's Lake is in your backyard. Oh. Outstanding. Well, maybe you guys can meet up. <clears throat> 1968, Alaska Sourdough. <laughs> hmm, all these old people. Polka, anyone? I'm older than dirt. Polka's actually kind of fun. I mean, I did that when I was 18 and it was kind of fun. If you add a few beers to it, anything is fun. I've never polkaed. Really? That's well, kind of fun. Even you could do it. <laughs> I <laughs> don't wear, know about that. I'll wear my steel toes. <laughs> Billy Sutton. Hi, Adam, Phyllis, and everyone. Good to have you in here, Billy. Stop uh, it. That hurts. Hira, yeah. hand worker. Thank you, Ashley. I'm glad I'm not IRS. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, my. Uh, yeah. Lots of readings. hellos. Railroad mics. Lawrence Welk. Yeah, there you go. What does that mean? Uh, it was, I can't remember if he was an actor or a singer. One of the two. <clears throat> old, old, old school. Oh. Scott's Life. Hello. How are you? Good to have you in here. Lots of hellos. Matt's Garage is talking to 1968 Sourdough. There was plenty of polka music at our wedding. And my next wedding, I'll have polka music. Oh, there's the look. <laughs> oh. No, no, you don't need snuggles anymore. You're <laughs> fine. Oh, my. <laughs> Oh, Monica Lynn. Well, sweet friends, I have to go. Busy day tomorrow. I hope you all have an absolute wonderful and safe week. See you all next week. Good night, Monica. Stay safe. <clears throat> don't tune in later, whatever you do, Monica. I don't want to keep your husband awake. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Roll, Roll out, out the barrel. barrel. That, oh, my. This is going on. That's still a, a, a wedding staple, wedding song staple. Especially in Wisconsin. That's huge. Yeah. That and the 30 point buck. I mean, if that's you don't, not a wedding song, it it would be at mine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh. Anyway, good night, <laughs> greetings. Um, Lawrence Welk is an old show, super old show. I was a little bit of kid. Um, Robert Bartman and a one and a two. Oh, there you go. Boy. 
Maybe we'll do that when we're done here. <laughs> oh, lots of looks tonight. We're aiming for an all-time oh, high. All the looks. Alone, Lawrence Welk was a variety dance show. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, I remember seeing it when we'd go over to my grandma's on I'll Sunday, to, but I uh, don't remember what it was it about. Up. That and Hee Haw. No, you didn't see. Hee -haw. Goodness, that's yeah, way back. Yeah. Billy Sutton, I have a grandson. He's almost two years old. Aww. Nice. No, um, it's more good nights. <clears throat> no, no. Lawrence Welk had a polka show. Oh. Okay. Stop <clears throat> fighting. Who's fighting? Well, everybody's fighting. Whatever the show was. Oh, okay. it's fine. Matt's Garage, I remember being forced to sit down and or sit and watch Lawrence Welk with my grandma. That's what I did. Yeah. Yeah. So the only thing I had to watch with my grandma was Mash, and that took me on a <sighs> whole nother. Nineteen sixty-eight sourdough. Next wedding. The look. Oh my! Wait till the live ends. Warning: Don't shut off the live. <laughs> no, no, no. We don't need any evidence. <laughs> nope. Nope. Alone is saying. Next, next week he will need a makeup. Oh, I Makeup might to cover up people, the, yeah. the slowly healing scars right. by Sunday <laughs> and the bruising. Alone is saying, I miss Saturday morning cartoons, especially the ones that didn't pander to children. Right? I, I agree. They were awesome. Back when they weren't didn't have to be educational. Oh, they could yeah. just be fun. Yeah, just be fun. Kim is saying, Pittsburgh is a big polka town. Even the Steelers had a polka song. Ha mm -hmm. ha. There you go. Awesome. Russell RW, it's square dancing that I think sounds fun, lol. It is, it is kind of fun. PTL, polka music at your next wedding. That made me laugh. <laughs> oh. The My. chicken dance, Oh, yes. yes. you got to have the chicken song in there. Oh, JR, 9 out of 10 husbands agree that their wife is always right. The 10th one has mysteriously disappeared and hasn't been heard from since. Oh, I agree with my wife all the time. No, you don't. Scott's life, wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> oh, Steve and Susie's Olmstead, Lawrence Welk, a show my parents made me watch when I was a kid. And I'm 63. Champagne bubbles and caviar dreams. Oh, yeah. Billy Sutton, me, tea alone. Looney Tunes were the best. Oh, yes. Yeah. Absolutely awesome. Kermudge in Square Dance was New Hampshire State Dance. They have state dances? I didn't know that was a thing. Probably, do they have state spiders? They have state birds and state fish. Do they have like state spiders? I hope not. I hope they can no. do anything. Matt's Garage, that's it. Live poker music at the YouTube June meetup. <laughs> it's oh, man. That. Uh, what's that thing they play? The <coughs> accordion? Or, oh yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Matt, accordion you, and banjo. Yeah, you bring your uh, accordion, and uh, I don't know who plays the banjo. I don't know. I could probably make it up between here and there. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. It's... Sounds like a good time. Ashley Anderson, I take a look over at that kick <laughs> under the table. There might have been one or two. Um, I can't kick. I'm not a cow. I can't kick sideways. Oh, that's true. Cows yeah. suck. I've been kicked by cows. Yeah. Worse is the 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 poopy tail across the face. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but cows kick sideways. And it's really odd. JR Adam, I think you lost your chance for poker tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Oh. Steve and Susie's home said, wonderful, wonderful. That's how he said it. Ah. Nice. Billy okay. Sutton, great Adam, grandson. great grandson. Oh. Okay, okay, gotcha. <clears throat> Matt's garage, funny but true. A friend of mine from high school, his dad played accordion with Lawrence Welk. Oh, oh, wow, nice. That's another small. What is that? Seven degrees of separation. Yeah, well, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Alone is saying, oh, no, I accidentally timed out Russell R.W. <laughs> so sorry about that. Wow. Hopefully you didn't give him a long time out. Can you go back and reverse that? Mm. I don't know. I've never tried. AFJ the third. I've heard the grandchildren are your reward for not killing your teenagers. It's Yes. I guess I'm going to get a huge reward then. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I hope so. 
Scott's life, Tom and Jerry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tom and Jerry were great. Every day after school, I'd watch that. Enigmatic Gwitchin. My grandmother and great-grandmother both love to watch old westerns. Mm -hmm. I would sit and watch old movies with my native grandmothers as they cheered on the cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, my. So, okay, I have a conundrum. Can I get a, a, a VCR? Yeah. Oh. oh. Can I get a hell yeah? <laughs> okay. Um, oh, yeah. Because... I'm a I'm a dork, and yeah, there's yeah. there's a whole lot of Zane Gray movies on VHS that came into the thrift store, and I like Zane Gray. And if you can find a VCR that's in working order, okay, by all means, thank you. There you go. See, I said yes. I made up for all the looks and the talking about my next wedding and poker and all that stuff. We're good. We're all good, Phyllis. <laughs> Stop <hitting> me. <laughs> uh, State dance. Well, it's, it is New Hampshire. I agree. Squeeze box. Oh yes, yes the squeeze box. And then box. you mean the um, oh the oh, it's called a mouth harp. Now I can't think of the real name. Harmonica. Nope. What else? The little a piece of grass. The doing doing doing, and you squeeze it to change the pitch. Somebody here knows what I'm talking about. Nope. And spoons. And spoons, you got to play spoons. Very Michael asked, I love how poker seemed to be the topic this week from Sloss to Lawrence. Well, LOL. <laughs> there is there is never a prediction on no. how it's going to go, uh, but it's always entertaining. I hope. No, the banjo was another movie, yeah. <laughs> it might have been. <clears throat> That's garage. I can bring my guitar, no accordion. I, I don't, I'm sure somebody, I don't know anyone that plays accordion. Does anybody know anyone that plays accordion? I've never seen one know. in real life. Really? Mm -mm. Oh. No, never. Okay. Ashley Anderson, AFJ, we'll see how, my, how many grandkids I get at this point. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, never you know. never know. Oh, kids will surprise you. Alaska cut the cord. Wisconsin State dances a polka. Uh, yeah, we, the, of course we are. <laughs> yeah. Alone is saying enigmatic, which in I love old westerns and action movies. Oh, yeah, I love anything with Clint Eastwood in it. Squint um, like Clint Week was oh, like man. my favorite. That was an awesome week. Squint, squint like Clint Week. Yes, yeah, that was great. Have any of you guys seen that? Matt's Garage at Railroad Mike. That's the way we roll here on the live. So, heck yeah. Madunanda, good night, everyone. Well, Aww, good night. Good night. Um, it was great having you in here, and I hope the rest of your week is blessed and awesome. I hope your peel up turns out good too. Yeah, yeah. That sounds like a wonderful meal this evening. Uh-huh. JR, I got kicked by a cow just before divorce papers were filed. Oh my. That was your <laughs> that, sign, I that's guess. Not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> It's not that funny, Phyllis. You're turning red. It's fine. Uh, Rob is saying at Russell RW, it was an oops from alone. <clears throat> Let's see. Enigmatic witch in chivalry was not dead in the Westerns. Very That's true. 100% true. And as much as we joke around, it's not dead here either. No. Well. Phyllis. Oh. Behave. <laughs> Why? It's curmudgeon. I tried to reverse it, but I could not. Oh, dear. Hopefully he doesn't have a long time out. Yeah. Although when he does come back, he's going to have all the things to say. Oh, and it's he's going to be... be mad. Holy yeah. cow. Let's see. Steve and Susie's homestead, animatic Gwitchin. Careful. She might time you out. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Yeah, Troy Sutton, I can't play the banjo, but I have an electric shovel guitar. Oh, nice. Can you change the settings to make it sound like it? The only thing I could play was the trombone and not very well. Oh. JR at Russell RW joined the club. She did it to me when I was her moderator. <laughs> yeah, Oopsies. alone's a little bit of a loose cannon tonight that right. I kind of watch out for. Robert Bartman, I played a 48 chord accordion and played it in the grand old grade school. Christmas program also played Tiny Tim. Oh, nice. Oh, so we do have somebody we that plays. Do we do? Kim is saying at Mike, we're just a well rounded group. We <laughs> certainly try to be. 
Scott's life, let alone remote Alaska. Randolph Scott was the best. I don't know Randolph Scott. Um, VCRs on eBay. There you go. There you, I, I need to dig through what we have at the thrift store. I bet we might have one. I think we have one of those all-in-one TV VCRs at work. And that's going to be so dusty and icky. We're guaranteed. Yeah. Yeah, that's how we do it. Right. <laughs> Ashley Anderson, for our Missing Oz members, the Australian phrase of the week, rough as guts, but has character. Okay. I'm yeah, assuming, where are our Aussie yeah. members tonight? Did they have another catastrophe? Hope not. No. Robert Bartman, my mother had all the Zane Grey books. I have, I don't know, Adam. So up here, those hard covers, there's a bunch of Zane Greys mixed in there. And they're all, okay, you're fine. <laughs> it's going to fade right out of the screen all together. Right. <laughs> Alona saying that's what I get for holding the phone while working. Oh, yeah. So the, it is a mouth harp. I, okay. I thought there was another name for it. I, I don't can't know. know. Railroad Mike's Alaska. Next week's topic needs to be something about man bear pig. That that's a possibility. Wait, uh, oh, that's pinging something in my brain. That was a movie. No, you're thinking about either cocaine bear. No. Two bears, one cave. No. <laughs> um. I do. I, no man bear pig. What was that? Sounds like something from um um, um what do you call it uh, the cartoon. Um, I can't think of it. it. It'll come up here yeah. in a minute. Christ Sutton, Jews Harp. Got one. That might be, huh. yeah, Juice Harp. That might be it. Okay. Juice Harp for the win. There we go. I, uh, huh. okay. I'll have to wait for one to come through the thrift store. I've never, did they gonna, come through the thrift store? Not, I haven't seen one yet, but I bet no. one will, and we'll be like, what is this? It and I'll probably, be like, I know what that is. It probably will tomorrow. And I'll dip it in alcohol first. Oh, there you go. Our Simple Life. My mom used to play the accordion. Oh, oh that is cool. so cool. Hmm. JR, I played the accordion when I was 10. Nice. No, it's not, not a, a kazoo. kazoo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, though, AFJ. Right. RM, I played... Accordion as a kid, long time ago. Wow, huh? This is so weird. I know more I know. people now that have played an accordion than I ever have known. Um, hanging with Hogan. I don't know. Um, they they have the channel and they're just up the road here. Um, with the kids. Oh, Alaska Homestead, something like that. I bet they play the accordion. Huh? They might. Um, Oh, goodness. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. Matt's Garage. We had a priest a number of years ago who played the accordion. Nice. nice. Ashley Anderson. How about the Hurdy Gurdy on here? Anyone play one? Hurdy. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> I don't know what that is. I don't know. P and J is. It's fine, LOL. Your laugh is <laughs> contagious, Phyllis. <laughs> That's okay. Who can make Phyllis start it? Mm -hmm. You never know. Yeah. Chivalry is not dead. Well, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, Ashley. Beaver. Sheer beaver. Sheer, sheer beaver. Yeah. <laughs> Steve at Susie's Homestead. There's only one word for accordion. Weird Al. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. He was big on that. Matt's Garage Railroad Mike. Bear Squatch? No, man no. bear pig. It was man bear pig. Uh, there's there's something to do with that. I can't remember if it was a cartoon like um, South Park. No, or... I think it, it would have been The Simpsons or something because there was spider pig, spider pig. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Troy Sutton. Damn, <laughs> that's twice. I know I'm really? well on my way. <laughs> Phyllis, they're trying to get you all cranked up. <laughs> Russell RW. Oh my God, you don't know Randolph Scott? I I feel like I've I, heard the name, but that's like way, way back. No, the only one I can think of 
what was the guy's name that wrote the uh, national anthem? It was some. No, that, that was, was Francis Scott Keys. Never mind. Say, that is a Scott. The only yeah. something Scott that I know of is from The Office. What was his name? I don't know. The boss. It was something Scott. <laughs> uh, Ridley Scott or something. No. Russell R. W. <laughs> and yes, I'm back. Apparently, yeah. Try well, to try to hang with us, now, right. Russell. Yeah. Maybe talk Don't to let them. those bullies get to you. Yeah, no, we wanted you back here. We had to fight for you, Russell. Alone in remote Alaska, saying it's Scott's life. I love spaghetti westerns. Why did they call them spaghetti yeah, westerns? That's so I, hard. I have never known that. I've always heard the phrase, but it doesn't really make sense. No. Uh, Matt's garage, because we don't throw anything away. We have a VCR in the basement. VHS, not beta. We're not that old. Oh. Oh, I've seen them. <laughs> Railroad Mike's Alaska, Matt 1791 Garage. Look it up via South Park, LOL. I tell the tourists to look for them here, and they really do. Told you it was South Park. Right. How did I know that? I don't know. Me either. That's, I mean, I just remember I... Rosie O'Donnell turning into a trapper keeper or something. What? It was quite the episode. <laughs> yeah, it was quite the episode. South Park, always entertaining. JR at Enigmatic Gwitchin. All boys that were brought up with respect for elders know the meaning of chivalry. Yes. Correct. Ashley Anderson. Aussie has tech issues with devices at the moment. Brun is with her parents. Oh, okay. Okay. <sighs> Alone. Again, my apologies, Russell R.W. Wink, wink. Right. <laughs> Told you it was South Park. Yeah, yeah, South Park. Huh. I knew something. Now I got that music in my set in my head. Thanks a bunch, alone. Jr. Man Pig was from Seinfeld. Yeah, but Man Bear Pig was. Yeah, South Man Park. Bear Pig's different, and Spider Pig is completely different. Railroad Mike's Alaska. Adam has it. LOL. Man Bear Pig from South Park. Ha ha ha. Russell R. W. It's okay, alone. Give me one peek into the Sasquatch <laughs> evidence bin and we'll call it even. Oh, I love that. Oh, that dear. was still one of my favorite episodes. Alone. Did you watch that video I sent you earlier? Which one? About the the, the folklore? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes, that was very strange. Uh, having to do with the little people. That was very strange. Um, Trisha Wymore, Russell is banned, LOL. Does it count in real life? Not if he's cooking supper. No. If no. he's cooking supper, you yeah, you need keep to him there. Unban him. Yeah. Rob is saying, I played trumpet, piano, and bass guitar. Wow, nice. Mm. Not me. Alone is saying, I attempted clarinet, but was always last chair of about 30 clarinetists. So I settle on air guitar and kazoo. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's yep. So I started on clarinet and then we had a super small band and we had zero bass in our band except for the bass drum. Oh my. And so I ended up being bass clarinet. Oh, really? Yep. Hmm. Nice. Do you still play? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Matt's Garage, the band Elwood, the band. The band Elwood, the band. I can't know. I don't know. Railroad Mike is saying I have to help get kids ready for dinner. It's been fun. Have a great night. ACTC and everyone in the chat. See you all next or yeah, next Sunday. Yep. Be sure to give a thumbs up or you'll get the look. LOL. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Thank you for that. Nobody wants the look. Right. And good night and Give the kids a little extra hug for us. Heck yeah. <clears throat> Steve and Susie's Homestead. Well, since we all went to band camp, saxophone, guitar, drums, and radio. Hmm. Nice. Sounds like you were well-rounded there. Lots of good nights. Scott's life. Blues kazoo is a skill. Hmm. Wow. I, yeah. Pretty <clears throat> gertie. Oh, there's and there's a, a link. link to a hurdy gurdy. Thank you for that, Rob. Huh. There you go. Robert Bartman, two votes for the Sasquatch <laughs> evidence. Yeah, bin. you have to record whatever is in there. Yeah. I Just agree. don't let her know about it. Maybe during the live. There uh, you go. Maybe alone will break into the Sasquatch bin. Uh huh. Troy Sutton, accordion with a hand crank. Hardy Cordy spelling. Hmm. Okay. 
<clears throat> oh yeah, Scott Carell. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Matt's garage, Steven Susan Homestead, tenor, tenor sax. Nice. Scott's life. They were filmed in Spain. The Hurdy Green. I don't know. No, no, I doubt it. Trisha Wymore. Dang, he's back. <laughs> oh, I love it. Somebody's getting the look over there tonight, too. <laughs> right? It's not just us. She's going to get the frying pan to the head. Oh, my. Steve and Susie's Homestead. They were made in Italy. Westerns. Oh, oh okay. that's. Wow. Okay. That? I don't know if I've ever seen one then. Well, you probably have. Just didn't realize it. Hmm. JR, I was shopping for horseradish the other day and found found one brand called Beaver Cream. The honest truth, my, I like horseradish. I if you guys have never had, well, no, no, that's wasabi. I like wasabi peas. If you've ever even heard of those, they're little like freeze dried peas with wasabi on them. Yeah, your sinuses are clear all day for sure. It is very spicy stuff. But horseradish and Beaver cream should never be in the same sentence. Probably, probably ever. not. No. Yeah, Ashley Anderson, a lot of those westerns were filmed in Spain, hence spaghetti western. Okay. They're called spaghetti westerns because they're made by Italian directors. Nice. Hurdy Gurdy was a medieval wheel instrument. Crazy sound to it. Huh. Okay. Is that one of those that the uh, um, um, uh, Mongolians? No, not. No. Was it a cranky thing? That sounds cranky, kind of like you. I... Steve and Susie's Homestead, Matt's Garage. Cool. I played the regular sized one. Why are you angry? It... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Okay. Alona Sand, JR, not too far forward or forthcoming, but I have a jar of that in my pantry icebox right now. Okay. I am going to have to look for that. I, yeah. Matt's Garage. Yep. Soprano, alter, alto, tenor, and baritone saxophones. Well, the thing is, is <clears throat> all of those transfer over. They just kind of change shape and size. Right, right. Yeah. I was in band. I remember. Elwood. Nice. Matt Scratch, Elwood Blues, the Blues Brothers. Oh, yeah. That was good. That was good. Russell R.W. Spider Pig. Spider Pig does whatever a spider pig does. He can swing from a web. A web. No, he can't. He's a pig. One of my favorite episodes. <laughs> oh, I love Spider Pig. We had, I don't remember what cat it was, and one of our houses had low ceilings, and you would put the cat up. Spider cat. Yeah, we would sing the spider pig song. <laughs> And then I would do it with Sydney when he was born in his little footy pajamas. I would walk him upside down on the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? Yes. Ira Hand Worker. I never made it past the makeshift kazoo unsung a comb and wax paper. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that works. Ashley Anderson. So how come there isn't a horseradish called foreplay then? I that's a good question. JR. That was to make Phyllis lose it. Yes, yes, and you did it. Thank you. Good job. Alone. Oh, my, maybe. There's an enticement for the live. Sasquatch evidence oh, reveal. Oh, there you go. I, that would get, <clears throat> that'd probably earn you like 2,000 subscribers. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, and I, yeah. Steve and Susie's home said, well rounded. Let's not get into the belly size. <laughs> it's Susie's fault. She feeds me too well. Oh, you can never eat too well. P and J's homestead at Alone Remote Alaska. It, that would go viral. Absolutely. Oh, it would too. It would. That and would the be the fun awesome. thing is you could just do clickbait and then Yeah. 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 1968 <clears throat> sourdough at Alone Remote Alaska sounds like a premiere to me. Oh, that'd be awesome. Rob is saying, I love wasabi peas. Funny story with them in my ex Phyllis. We'll tell you later. And oh, no, God. it's not me. No, 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 another Phyllis. There were two girls named Phyllis. Only two. Yeah. Yeah. Alone is saying, the good, the bad, and the ugly. LOL. Mm -hmm. If you love Clint Eastwood, then you've seen a spaghetti western. Okay, okay. perfect. Then I most certainly have. Ira is saying, I love wasabi peas. Man, that's cool. Because I bring them to work. I buy them by the bin. And nobody 
will try them at all. I mean, everybody has tried like one and then they would like, nope, that's awful. And I get to eat the whole thing myself. I, it's one of those things that I like, like three of them and then I'm done. I'm because like every third one is like on fire <laughs> and the other ones are just really mild. I don't know. It's awesome. Yes. It's a cranky thing. There you go, Phyllis. See? You were right. My, my words worked. Mm -hmm. Matt's garage been thinking, is anyone organizing the YouTube meetup games? Softball, volleyball, croquet teams? I'm not aware. I don't know. Polka dancing, square dancing, yeah, have a, line dancing. We could have a dance off. I, it could it could go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Different YouTubers doing a dance off. It'd be <laughs> it'd be pretty great. It'd, it'd get a lot more YouTubers. I bet. Yeah. It... <laughs> Ashley, oh, nobody would show up. Probably not. <laughs> Ashley Anderson. Sergio Leone was the director from some of those movies. Very famous. If I'm not mistaken, The Good, The Bad, and the Ugly was Sergio Leone. Huh. Hmm. Okay, cool. I didn't know that. I think. Maybe not. I'll have to look, but I might have that at the thrift store. Hmm. Trisha Wymore. No way. I played bass clarinet in high school and got third place in state solo competition. <laughs> I think I got first place, but that was only because it was just me. Well, could have been. <laughs> you won by default. Yes. Oh, my. Enigmatic Witch in from the intro of the Game of Thrones. That's the hurdy gurdy. Huh. We haven't watched the Game of Thrones this year. Um, well, no, he's talking about the the music. Yeah, I know. The I thought that was the cellos. Yeah, I thought that was uh, two cellos. But there is something in the background. Yeah, I don't remember. We'll have to listen to that. Well, we'll just have to watch that whole series all <clears throat> over again. Oh, yeah, again. there you go. The intro is my favorite part. I know, he would make me... Every time we have to watch the intro. Yeah. I love the intro. Sorry. Um, Sarah played the sax as well. Nice. Nice. <clears throat> 1968 Alaskan Sourdough, the director of many Clint Eastwood movies, were Italian director, hence the term spaghetti westerns. Okay. No. Nope. I, I wonder why. Hmm. Come on, Jen. You're right at Enigmatic Kitchen. Matt's Garage at Alone or Remote Alaska. Yes, good and bad. The good, bad, and ugly, actually. My text message notification. Nice. JR, Hurdy Gurdy Man is a song by the Scottish singer-songwriter Donovan. It was recorded in April 1968. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Trisha Wymore. I also played saxophone, pia piano, and piano. a little guitar. I was combining piano and guitar, a oh. PR. Piano? Piano, huh. yeah. It's also Italian. <laughs> Matt's Garage. Sounds like we're having a saxophone section forming here. I there know saxophone go. and clarinet so far. And pinano. And pinanos and a little bit of guitar. Guitar. Russell RW Beaver Brand makes all kinds of condiments like horseradish, mustards, etc. It comes in little glass jars and it's made in Oregon. Why would they call it that? I don't know. I was. Oh, I have so many things to say. Jr. at Matt's Garage. A good game to play this summer meetup would be Dirty Words and record it. <laughs> oh my! You get us all banned from from, from YouTube. YouTube. <clears throat> that would not help. Brook Trout one. My grandmother's name was Phyllis. Oh, nice. Yeah, I never got to meet the lady that I was named after. No. No, but we did have a neighbor, um, where I was growing up. Uh, Phyllis is better kind. Hmm. And they have the airport. Okay. So cool. Hello, and a saying I love wasabi peas with dried cranberries, hence why I've put on so much weight lately. Oh, are wasabi peas a lot of calories? Because I'm in the process of trying to lose weight for the caribou hunt, and I feel that that's going south. Yeah, join the club. Yeah. I'm going to have to quit drinking beer. JR at Russell RW found it in the Wineco here, Winco. Kermudge in LOL at Alone Remote Alaska. Alaska does not show if you have. Hmm. 
LOL, alone <laughs> in remote Alaska. It does not show if you have. And he's no. right. But does not show if you have. That she's put on weight. Oh, yeah. No, I've never thought so. No. Um, alone is saying pole dancing. That might be right up there in the Alaska state dance. I maybe. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm not gonna participate. I have terrible balance. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, I'd be in. <laughs> I would life. watch that. Would I would pay to watch that. Yeah, Absolutely. So that sounds awful. Um, Russell R. W. J. R. Yeah, Winco is a good place. They usually have good prices. I've never heard of a Winco. Steve at Susie's Homestead at Alone Remote Alaska. Some Bigfoot expert. I remember she uncovered an illegal pot crow in the woods. Turns out it was a partridge. I do remember that. <laughs> Yeah, I heard it drumming in the back. I'm like, oh, wow, I didn't know they were in Alaska. That was yeah, cool. and we recognized it. It was one of those sounds that we, we've we heard so much that oh, it doesn't yeah. register. Yeah, we grew up with that. Yeah. I'm going to let the bad dogs off. Come on, bad dogs. Oh, bad dogs. Okay. Snow pole dancing. I, our snow pole is not going to stand up to that. That's for sure. Snow pole dancing. Snow pole dancing. Yeah. Oh my. I like that. That that could work for us. <laughs> Not on our pole. That's no. no. Our pole is a barely it, in the ground. Yeah, it was a thousand gallon uh, uh, stick for for measuring a thousand fuel in a thousand gallon tank. So it's like three quarter by three quarter. All right. <laughs> hey, I know. It's it's getting crazy. Alone is saying at Kermudge in Alaska. Just wait until the kitchen reveal video comes out. Oh boy. Oh my. Matt's garage iced <laughs> snow pole dancing. Wow. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to wear sandpaper pants apparently to hold on to that one. There's no pants if you're pole dancing. I, I don't know. I'm not a pole dancer. You are now. I'll look it up. Okay. <laughs> really? <laughs> JR, earlier today I saw a bumper sticker that read, I'm a vegetarian, so I can drive like Read an that again. That read, uh, I'm, I don't know how to read that. I'm a, oh, a veterinarian. There we so go. So I can drive like an animal. Suddenly I realized how many proctologists are on the road. Yeah. <laughs> right. Ooh, a vegetarian. Sorry. Brooke Trout won. I played sax as well. Holy cow. Robert Bartman. All right, Rob, for Alaska snow pole <laughs> dancing. Oh, my. You got to wear bunny boots, though. <laughs> Russell R. W. It's beaver brand because Oregon is the beaver state. Oh. And I think so is Wisconsin, though. Uh, Badger. Oh, yeah. Wisconsin Bucky Badger. Badger. Yeah, Bucky Badger, but Cumberland. It was the Cumberland Beavers. You're right, it was. I know, and that's uh -huh. where I grew up. Steve and Susie's Homestead, we could all spend thousands and get together and play the Jaws theme. Oh, my. What? Yeah, we could get that. No Jaws up here, though. Ashley Anderson, JR. Word origins is an interesting topic. Ship high in transit. First letter of each word. Manure was shipped as ballast weight in ships. Methane and candles don't mix. Manure boxes had shit hit label. Had S hit label. Really? Hmm. Wow. Okay. Huh. Interesting. That's good to know. That's Alona saying it's the sodium from the wasabi paste and the sugar from the cranberries that causes water weight. Oh, I bet oh, it does. Okay. So, Point um, my words, <laughs> um, believe it or not, my doll will get rid of the water for you. I don't re recommend it if you're a guy. No, it works great for guys, just not you. I just go to sleep. Yeah. I guess I'll die of dehydration <laughs> if I take too many of them. <laughs> yep. The snow pole dance. Oh my. Steve and Susie's homestead. Did you all? Did you all hear the dead silence when Adam said, quit drinking right. beer? Yeah, I know. I didn't. The comments even quit for a minute. They thought, oh, <laughs> they my God, what's happening shock. here? This can't be the real Adam. I am actually Adam. Alone is saying, who needs balance? Just hold on for that's, dear life. I, that's late. Yeah, that's next video. Snow pole dancing practice. <laughs> P. 
Key and Jay's <laughs> Homestead Adventure. That makes sense at alone. Yeah, none of this makes sense. <sighs> oh, my. Rob is saying my snow pole will sink oh, in about so, four feet. So okay. Rob's going to be the one doing the dance. Yeah, apparently. He'll be okay, setting up Sarah, the pole. Okay, Sarah, you need to uh, <laughs> go ahead and record that How did it that become one? a guy thing? A guy snow pole Because dance. you said you were the one that you didn't know how to dance. They're... So you just volunteered. <laughs> All the guys just volunteered. Oh, yeah. Okay. I like that story. Nope. Steve and Susie's homestead. Pole dancing in Alaska. Get your hands wet and stuck to a pole for the rest of the winter. Right. Yeah, maybe that's how we'll hold on. I don't have to worry about traction. My hands will just be stuck to the pole. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speedo Adam, LOL. Nope, I don't own one. I can Ashley get one. Ashley Anderson. That's is dropping a loaner mode Alaska's link. Thank you for that. Robert Bartman, no, not to change the subject, but do they have girls bikinis racing snow machines like we have in St. Germain, Wisconsin? Probably. I, I've i never heard of it. If they did, if they would, it would be, oh, what's the big winter thing up by Toke? The big, that they canceled this year. The iron? No, 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 oh, not a race. It's a, just a big get together, hill climb, stuff like that. But they canceled oh. it this year. They do have a lot of college kids in bikinis standing in front of the whatever the big temperature sign in Fairbanks, Alaska. There's always pictures about that, but no snow machine racing. Sounds like it would really hurt if you fell off. Oh, especially yeah. this winter, 50 below would be bad. Oh, thank you alone for that. You are so <laughs> helpful right now. <laughs> yeah, you guys are great helping me out. First, I said I'm going to quit drinking beer, and now this. That's garage. I love how patient Phyllis is with helping Adam reading his words. I know. Now I'm getting older, you know. She's got to help me out with right. some stuff. Right. Mountain Mariner off grid here. I was busy eating dinner and drinking adult beverages at the lodge. Oh, well, yeah, cool. that's he's on his way to work, I think. Isn't that what he was saying in Rob's life? So he's drinking a bunch of beer before he drives to Valdez. Uh, yeah, I sure. remember I didn't have enough beers yesterday when we went up the pass. I'm no. sure. <laughs> no, Phyllis was pretty nervous. So she actually yeah. made me put the truck in four wheel drive because drifting is bad apparently well in that truck yeah why if it was in the forerunner it'd be different oh i'd rather do it in a long wheelbase it's easier to control yeah mountain mariner quesadillas and jack daniels oh the oh, dinner of champions that sounds amazing not the jack daniels part though yeah Here. yeah ashley anderson asking for a friend what are we asking about hmm Alone is saying my doll, adding it to the grocery list. Yep. Yeah. JR, my doll works for Toothex as well. Yeah, right. Because I'll wake up eight hours later and it'll be gone. So Adam may or may not have had a little bit too much adult beverages and was not feeling very well the next day. I'm like, my doll works great. It's got the caffeine, the, what the, could go wrong? Um, the water thing. And so I gave him some. Yeah. But the caffeine thing <clears throat> knocked him out. He went yeah. right to sleep. Yeah, I went right to sleep. I, I Phyllis came out and talked to me. I was feeling super tired. So I laid in the lazy boy that I had in my shop. And then she went, you were going somewhere, wedding dress shopping with someone or something. And then I slept on the front porch. And then I graduated to the house and slept on the couch. <laughs> so, yeah, I no might all for me ever again. Maybe if we do the stuff without the caffeine. I'm not doing it ever again. I learned my lesson. I'm an easy learn. Alone is saying I'll add it to the trail mix. Right? Oh, my. Half a dozen peanuts and a mite all. Uh -huh. Matt's Garage, Edit Mount Mirror. Got to catch up. Man, beer, pig, snow pole dancing, polka, wasabi, and beavers. <laughs> there we go. Thank you for that, Matt. <laughs> oh, you're awesome. Uh, Rob saying, oh, my God, you guys are too funny. And we are comedic tonight. Mountain Mariner, now I have an electric guitar and a very loud amplifier, too. Good thing I have no neighbors. Don't cause any avalanches up there, though. At least you're at the top. No, the yeah, line. I was going to say, he's fine. Yeah. Um. So now we just need to get him a karaoke machine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
<clears throat> Steve at Susie's Homestead is laughing it alone. Brooke Trout won bikini skiing in the UP also. Hmm. Bikini skiing. Yeah, hmm. that's what I said. Yeah, but the other one was bikini snow machining. I think anything in bikini should be promoted. Rob as long as it's man bikinis. I'll do that too. I don't care. Fair is oh, fair. Okay. <laughs> Rob is saying, oh my God, the face <laughs> said, I get that one. Oh my. JR at Kermudge in Alaska snow pole dancing after nude snow swimming. There will be oh. none of that. None of that for me. It looked like a man bear pig swimming through the snow. <laughs> and there is Mountain Mariner's Link. Thank you for that, Ashley. Alone is saying Arctic Man. Yes, that's it. Arctic, Arctic Man, Man was canceled this year. They so said it was due to So is that the opposite permits. of Burning Man? It, it's like Burning it's... Man, but for grownups with a lot of money. Because and it's the, cold. Yeah, it's cold, but that's fine. That yeah. would be so much fun. I kind of wanted to go this year, but no. They had to COVID it. Mountain Mariner, funny you mentioned that. I was just polka dancing around my snow pole this morning in my man bear pig fur. <laughs> that's. That is an image that I just picked. Yeah, I could just yeah, he's got he's got music going over the loudspeaker <laughs> and he's poker dancing by himself. That's that's uh, awesome. That's how he keeps up his cardio. Uh, I'll have to freeze dry some Taco Bell for you so you can get that up there too, bud. <laughs> Robert Bartman, the Arctic Man in Summit Lake. <clears throat> RM, there's the polar plunge. There is, but there won't be a polar plunge at that time of year during the thing. Um, Phyllis does it, and Patrick was doing it this weekend. He said he only got up to his waist before he almost died. He's fine. I don't know. Yeah. No, he's Brittany fine. Brittany did it, though. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. She's more man than he is. Oh, I don't know. No, I you hope... go ahead and I... tell him I said that. I'm not going to say that, probably. I'll tell Brittany, though. I'll tell him. Okay. JR at Alone Remote Alaska. <laughs> what are you drinking? <laughs> Caution, JR. She'll, she'll boot you. I think it's, a, <laughs> it's probably a whole can of uh, sass. <laughs> Steve at Susie's Home said, JR. She dances well, but is a little dances. stiff. Dances well, but is a little stiff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ashley Anderson, hang in. I need to start taking notes on these locations for my friend, of course. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <clears throat> Adam, chicken. What is Adam well, equals she, chicken? I'm not a chicken. She just called you Are out you on calling something? me out right now? <laughs> uh, 1968 sourdough. Dang it, Adelona, remote Alaska, you're quick. Uh, <laughs> Ashley, LOL. Oh, we're having a good time tonight. Rob is saying Ed is probably at lat 62. So if he can do it, he should record himself pole dancing at latitude 62. Why? Is it a bar? Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> Alone is saying at JR, it's a sugar crash. Not drink, but a way of life. Need to eat something. Oh, go eat yeah. something. Heck yeah. Eat some ramen. <laughs> no. P and J's homestead. What could go wrong? <laughs> I know. That's our saying. Oh, right. Okay. You guys are ruining my buzz. I've not been able to take a drink because I'm too busy laughing. <laughs> <laughs> See, now where's number 38 when she needs to be in here? Oh, my uh, goodness. She's probably sleeping. Probably. Steve and Susie's homestead. Ever since the Midol incident, Adam wears loose shirts. <laughs> yes, yes, I do. Yeah, a little too much estrogen in it for me. There's no estrogen. It's something. Hey. Robert Bartman, the promoters couldn't get liability insurance coverage for the Arctic Man. See, and I heard that it was permitting, but I don't know. Yeah, that would have been that would have been awesome because I wanted to go this year. Wanted to see Phyllis do the hill climb in her phaser. Oh, I was going to say, it's not happening in a bikini. Oh, in a bikini on your phaser? Ooh. Sounds like a good plan to me. Um, Alone is saying, Ed, hoping to see that in the next video. I oh, agree. Heck yeah. Gene Diggs History. Hello, new sub here from South Carolina. Oh, no, from Australia. Brun sent me over. Awesome, Gene Diggs History. It's good to see you in here. 
That is cool. That is cool. Everybody say hi. That's awesome. 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 <clears throat> Lots of hellos going out. See, that's the kind of channel we have. Um, you see all the hellos coming through. That is absolutely awesome. <clears throat> PTL Fabrication, Man Beer Pig Reference. You are on tonight. <laughs> oh, my. We are all over this. This is awesome. Oh, lots of hellos. Oh, my goodness. This is awesome. Good job, Gene Jigs Hasfree. Alaska is on my bucket list. Well, we hope you make it up here. It is pretty awesome. Wow, lots of hellos. Holy cow. Here's a good one. Curmudgeon, do it at Gene Diggs History. You'll love it here. Yep, it is. And and you get to see what kind of people are up here, too, when you're on these sort of channels. And if you have questions or anything like that, you can always ask. Matt's Garage, highly recommended. JR, well, you can't get a permit without insurance in most states. That makes sense. Makes sense. Ah, South Carolina. Okay. At first, I thought it was uh, like um, Brun and Antwidasi will say SA, but that means Southern Australia. So it's okay. I'm only half here. You're only what? Half here. Half here? Why? Oh. <laughs> and for the rest of Phyllis, ta -da! Oh, ta -da. there we are. We've got a new one in here Gene Diggs History. Cool. Run Center over. Oh. Well, I was just wondering, that sounds like a um, metal detecting. Yeah, yeah. It, is that what you do? It, do you do the metal detecting and stuff like Brun? Um, which is really awesome. Yeah, lots of elements. <laughs> Holy cow. Steve and Susie's Homestead, you know where, you know I hear painter lines are great wound dressing, but I'll be damned if I'm walking around town with one on my arm. Painter liners. Panty liners. Oh, panty liners. Wow. Yeah, I wouldn't probably do that. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Honestly, um, if you are seriously wounded, can't get to a hospital and help, uh, ladies' supplies mm -hmm. are great. Yeah. There's Bullet a... holes, we got a plug for that. Wow. Cuts. Except does it a... swell up or no? Yeah, it'll expand to fill the... Hmm. Yep. Just well, saying. I'll be sure to keep those on hand in case I get a bullet hole. PJ's Homestead Adventure. Steve, sometimes you got to do what you got to do on a homestead. Mm -hmm. That's right. I'm going to take that from you. <laughs> Matt, AK. Yay! Hey, I'm back and you're still on. It's good to see you in here, Matt. How was dinner? Yeah, I hope it was good. Are you going to go take a nap now? <laughs> Gene Diggs history. I'm here, but I'm not all there. I love it. Perfect. <laughs> Join the club. You are going to love this channel right. then, Gene. That is awesome. Mm. The good duct tape, the 3M duct tape. Yeah. That stuff is, uh, I've got two rolls of it and I hoard it. I don't let my kid touch it. Or his wife. Yeah, or his What wife. did I need duct tape for? And you said you didn't have any and gave me some cheap stuff and it was <laughs> sad. I give you the cheap gray stuff. Yeah. JR, Matt AK, welcome back. Heck yeah. Matt's Garage, <laughs> Matt AK, we're on a roll here. This has been a fun one tonight. I'm not going to lie. There has been. <laughs> They're well, all fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Gene Diggs history. Yes, I do. Over 20 plus years of metal detecting. Oh, cool. That is awesome. You'll have to bring that up here. What were we thinking about the other day? I know Rob could use one up there for sure. Mm -hmm. He's got some plans. Um, yeah, that's pretty awesome. I just need to learn which rocks are going to have the pretty geo. The um, oh, what is the it? The geode. The hollowed out. The geodes. Yeah. Yeah. Rob is saying at Gene Diggs history. Hope you're not drinking as you will snort it out on this live. It's called happy hour for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Yeah, it has been a, a quite lively live. Ashley Anderson, Gene, you'll fit right in here. Oh, heck exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. JR at Brook Trout One duct tape will not fix busted balloons or dead elephants. Probably not. Those are two things That's... that are the balloon, though, maybe, depending on how bad it broke. <clears throat> Um, Matt AK mom made some delish pot roast chili. Oh, oh that does sound dear. good. You've got my address, Matt. Brought, Brought some... some home hashtag. <laughs> Absolutely. Love it. Good job. 
you're thinking. Rob is saying, I do not think that'll help much with drying, frying. With, with the frying pan to the back of the head, Adam. I, I don't, duct tape duct might. Tape. It might hold my scalp back together. Yeah. <sighs> JR, the last cut the cord, Adam, keep it up and you <laughs> might get a bullet hole. I know, but there's plenty of lady supplies around here. I can fix uh -huh. myself right up like new and still get to work on time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make it. Gene Diggs history. I think I'll crack a beer on that. Might note. as well. See, there you go. <clears throat> Matt, AK, man, <laughs> look at the light up there still. I know. It's... So it was what, nine o'clock, and it was still kind of light out. You could still see object. You could walk across the yard without tripping. Yeah. And I think it's things. possible next week we're going to do a live from outside. Um, next week it's supposed to be in the 40s. And I think maybe we'll fire up the solo stove and uh, yeah, yeah, and do and a live outside. Depending on how we do our greenhouse, we might do our Sunday live from the greenhouse. Yeah, if I can, I ordered plastic from Amazon, and they said it said right on Amazon arriving Friday, and then it didn't arrive on Friday or Saturday or Sunday or today. And I checked Amazon again; it said not shipped yet. So. Whoever put that update in there was slightly off. So I'm going to cancel that order. And I guess they have the greenhouse plastic at uh, Home Depot. So I'm going to check that out on Wednesday because I have a drinking dinner tonight or tomorrow night. After and work. tonight. And tonight. Yeah. <sighs> Rob, a sand mat, AK, it stays light until after eight. Now, oh, it sure I does. Know. Yeah, it's, it's so awesome. nice. Steve and Susie's Homestead at Gene Diggs History. I want to go looking for Lumber Camp goodies. Yes, the stamps and such. What detector do you recommend? Outstanding question. Alona San at Matt AK. If I wasn't hungry before, I am now. Right. Yeah, you're really hoping, Matt. Ramen noodles didn't help you with that feeling alone? <laughs> No. Matt AK at Alona Remote Alaska. Sorry, it sounds like pot roast chili is in your future. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds awesome. P and J's great idea. I couldn't agree more. Alona San had chili fries for the first time ever last week, and it was surprisingly good. They are not bad if they're made right. Yeah. <clears throat> Rob is saying, wow, first time. Oh my god, they're good. Oh, yes, very good. <laughs> Under rock. Been under rock. Matt A.K. at Alone in Rhode Alaska. Chili fries and cheese dogs are life. Yeah, uh, you always get the chili dogs. I always get the chili cheese dogs, yeah. Put all of that on there. That is so good. Gene Diggs history. Steve, depends on your budget. The Nocta Legend is a good one to start with. Can get for 700 or less. Google Myers Metal Detectors in Florida. Tell him I sent you. He'll give you the best price. Nice. Yeah. Unless he doesn't ship to Alaska, then it's not as nice. Right. LOL. Low to medium. JR, I don't know who needs to hear this, but some women, women need to stop saying all men are the same. <laughs> no one will ask you to try them all. Right. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't think they're all the same. No. Some of them are not as good as others. Matty K, when I worked for the baseball team, I had chili cheese dogs pretty much every night. Didn't get tired of them. No. Not if the chili's good. It's pretty and excellent. Sometimes it doesn't matter. The chili never tastes the same. Hmm. No. You can go to the same place every day and it tastes different. Right. Brook Trout 1, is that Fort Myers? I'm going Thursday. Nice. <clears throat> L -O -A -L -O -L at JR. Ashley Anderson, I need a woman at work who, or I need a woman at work who went by the nickname Marine. She was good looking for a few good men. She was looking for, for a few good men. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> That's awesome. Oh, yes. And we are actually caught up which I, I can't believe it. We actually made it. Um, on that note, it has been one hour, 29 minutes and 35 seconds. So I want to just take a minute and remind you one more time about 
the upcoming Sunday live. Yes. Um, it's going to be pretty epic. Um, Alaska may just shut down the roads for this because um, everyone's <laughs> going to be on their phones <laughs> watching the live. That is Alone in Remote Alaska, Rob and Sarah at Kermudge Inn, and Phyllis and I from Alaska Cut the Cord. So it's at noon, Alaska Standard Time, and uh, there will be green beers and some other stuff going on. We hope to see you all there. And thank you all for the outstanding live tonight and the laughs for sure. I got a week's worth of laughter in here tonight. And uh, yeah. I don't let him laugh the rest of the week. No, she doesn't. No. She keeps me pretty somber. Um, <laughs> but on that note, I want to thank our moderators who, as always, have done a beautiful job and all you wonderful people for being here and commenting. We appreciate every single one of you, new and old. So... Without further ado, I'm Adam. I'm Phyllis. From Alaska Cut the Cord. Love you, bye. Uh, no, Phyllis, get away from that frying pan. What are you thinking?